Shoot to win can feel so bittersweet, but you take what you can get. Cause there ain't no glory in the West. Howdy, I'm Orville Peck, and I'm gonna be playing a game of song association with L. I am gonna be given a word, and I have 10 seconds to sing or rap that word in a song, and I'm feeling very confident, maybe overly confident. I've seen people fail at this too, so that's why I say overly confident, but who knows, let's see. So before we get into the game, please be sure to check out my newest album, Bronco, and my new upcoming TV show, My Kind of Country, on Apple TV+. Plus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like something like that. <laughs> Wild. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Rolling Stones. Ice. There's a song I'm avoiding, but I'm just gonna like keep thinking for a second. I mean, the obvious one would be like, Ice, Ice, baby. But I mean, I was sort of hoping to avoid that one, but Vanilla Ice. <laughs> the incredible, diverse artist, Vanilla Ice. Minute. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. Feeling in a wetland sea, i try to big out the fat view like Lizzo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing good. It's about damn time. Run. We wanna grow up and walk in the sun. Cause baby tramps like us, baby we were born to run. Bruce Springsteen, the only boss I'll listen to. Year. Darling, I can feel it coming every time. I sat around last year, wished so many times that I would die. Uh-huh. Super positive song. That's uh, Orville Peck, Curse of the Blackened Eye. One of my, the funnest songs to write for, for Bronco was actually Curse of the Blackened Eye. I was listening to a lot of tiki, 60s tiki lounge music, so there's like that kind of Hawaiian tiki feel to it, and a lot of like pedal steel, and there's some like congas and bongos and all kinds of stuff going on. And it's sort of this like fun tiki song, but it's actually about a really bad relationship and kind of dealing with like, you know, being mistreated and that kind of thing. So uh, it, was, it, was, it was a cute song to do, but it was also very cathartic for me. Straight. Wow. Say no more. Just kidding. Straight up now, tell me, are you really gonna love me forever? Oh, 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 you just having fun. I can't remember the way. That's Paul Abdul though, straight up. And that's not for the straights out there, okay? <laughs> road. So hit the road, big blonde. Take me home to Mississippi. It's not that I don't care, it's just hard to make a plan. Ah, Daytona Sand. Daytona Sand, Orville Peck, great guy. Never seen his face though. I bet it's gorgeous. The inspiration for Bronco, I think a lot of it was I went through a really horrible relationship and breakup, so a lot of the songs are about that. Feeling like breaking free from a lot of stuff. It was I also wrote it over over the pandemic, so obviously I think there was a lot that people could relate to about feeling suffocated and stuck. And you know, I felt that way personally, literally, and also sort of creatively. And so it was this big sort of um, freeing, kind of cathartic thing for me at the time, and all the songs are sort of this big release of what I wanted to say and how I wanted to feel. And it also sort of, uh, it has a lot to do with my father, that album, you know, because I think he's actually the Bronco, kind of, because uh, he's like the most inspirational, loving, passionate figure in my life, and so I kind of realized as I was going, I sing about my dad a lot on the album, and I realized, I was like, I think maybe he's the Bronco, not me, but, yeah. Summer. S -s -s summertime, summertime sadness. S -s -s summertime, summertime sadness. Oh, oh, oh. Lana Del Rey, summertime sadness. Friday. Monday, you can fall apart. Tuesday, Wednesday, break my heart. Oh, Thursday, doesn't even start. It's Friday, I'm in love. The Cure, the best, my favorite. The Cure, Friday, I'm in love. Hand. You're one microscopic cog in his catastrophic plan, designed and directed by his red right hand. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, that's Nick Cave, red right hand. 
I used to play in punk bands a lot, and that was my first kind of stint as a musician. And so I, I still love a lot of 90s grunge and punk. Uh, I, you know, I love like L7, Babes in Toyland, Hole, a lot of like female grunge, a lot of kind of sub pop era artists like, uh, you know, uh, Soundgarden or Nirvana or yeah, and stuff like that. So I, I still listen to a lot of that. The Breeders, one of my favorite bands. Free. Cause I'm free, free falling. Tom Petty, R.I.P. Love Tom Petty. My niece's favorite artist. I'm number two. <laughs> Win. It's hard to think on your feet. Tired of begging them just to compete. Shoot to win can feel so bittersweet. But you take what you can get. Cause there ain't no glory in the West. Orville Peck, no glory in the West. The new show, My Kind of Country, I'm really excited about it. I'm one of the scouts. Uh, the other ones are Mickey Guyton and Jimmy Allen. I love giving my opinion <laughs> and help, but like in a positive way. I love helping people. I love offering inspiration. You know, like I, I find that really rewarding anyway. I love to be in that position whenever I can. And so uh, getting to do that and help these artists, you know, they came from all over the world and we brought them to Nashville. And, you know, we're like, they're collaborating with huge country stars and working with all of us and we hung out with Reese and Casey and uh, they Reese was sort of in and out because she you know was a big producer on it it's uh, through her company Hello Sunshine and Casey came to the finale and we all kind of there was the final like judging panel so yeah we saw both of them quite a bit it was super rewarding it was I think it's gonna be such a beautiful show I can't wait for it to come out burn baby I'm burning out of control baby I'm burning body and soul I got a pistol, pew, flaming desire. Baby, I'm burning, you got me on fire. Dolly Parton's uh, disco hit, Baby, I'm Burning. Really good Dolly song. I loved Dolly when I was a kid. I mean, everyone loves Dolly, of course, but growing up a, a gay kid, and I think anyone that felt sort of, you know, a little different in any way, <clears throat> sometimes country music has this stigma of not being inclusive to people who feel different. And I think Dolly, the reason she's so universally loved is that she kind of makes everyone feel included. And she kind of opened that door to country, not just for me, but for a lot of people, I think. I think that's what's really special about Dolly. So that's, I think Dolly was where it first originated. And then I moved on to, you know, Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard and Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson, but yeah, Dolly for sure was the beginning. If I should stay, I would only be in way. Problem. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> Taylor Swift, uh, anti-hero. I am the problem, I think. Truth. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Gotta leave you all behind and face the truth. Boom, boom, boom. Mama, ooh, way the wind blows. Bohemian Rhapsody. I think I did phenomenally, if I do say so myself. I've seen some other people and they're okay, but I think I did very good. I will return for round two and I'll smash it out then as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure had fun. Um, please check out my new album, Bronco. Yeehaw!